Welcome to Learning Continues. Hope you are doing well. I am well, and today I shall start a new chapter. That is from your textbooks, chapter number three. That is fiber to fabric. Now two terms are there. One is fiber, and another is fabric. So now, what is or what do you mean by the term fiber? Fiber is nothing. Fiber is a thread or filament from where or from which textile or cloth is formed. A fiber is a filament, is a things from where the textile or cloth or yarn is formed. So fibers are basically we get the fiber from plants and animals. Later I shall discuss how we get the fibers from plants and animals. And another term is fabric. So the meaning of fabric is uh, a complete cloth or a piece of cloth. So from a fiber, from a fiber. Two cloths. In these two terms, in these two process, in the pro middle of these two process, fiber to fabric, there are some more information which are described in the chapter. So we start the chapter from fiber to fabric. So before going to the chapter, we have to know about the history of clothing. History of clothing. Every things, every uh, places, every uh, industry, or every any suit, any small particles, or any big or large or famous things have a history. So like this all. Uh, clothes have also a history. The clothes that we are wearing nowadays, it was not in ancient time. People of ancient time use the outer covering of uh, uh, the tree or the leaf of a tree or they use the skin of animals. But when they go growing up, they know the uses of fibers. They know the uses of cloths. But the cloths that they were used was not like this cloth. They used the animal skin or fur or leaf or the cover of a stem, cover of a tree. When, they, when the industrial revolution started, the industrial revolution, in the revolution where industries or the machines where the machines and industries where give importance more. The industrial revolution was started in the 18th century, that is from 1760 to 1840. The industrial revolution was started in England and all over the world. From the England, it spread all over the world. In industrial revolution, people used the machines people use the industry for manufacturing for production of many things so the history of clothing is like they use the outer covering of tree animal skin or grasses or bark of tree even bones and shells of animals later when they grow up they used to uh, cover their body by small uh, uh, leaf or small uh, bark of a tree or a cover or uh, covering of a stem 
or the shells or the skin when industrial revolution started they uh, learned to use the to stitch the skin the to stitch the leaf they learned to use the simple needles they use the needles as animals bones or parts of animals they use the needle from a animal's bones or parts of an animal and they stitch the uh, uh, skins or leaves by the parts of animal or the bones of animal which they use as a needle after industrial revolution they uh, were going growing up and they know the idea about the needle that are used in nowadays and after that they used to stitch or stitch the skin or bark of a tree or the shells of a uh, animals or leaf and cover their body but before the use of needle they had no idea about the uh, cloth or about the covering or any, no, they have no shame uh, on that time to cover their body they were just nacked they used uh, or they walk in, in nacked after the revolution of industrial revolution they get the idea of simple needle and stretch the skin the fur the outer covering the shell of the animals and cover their body and from that to today we are growing more and uses this type of cloth so history of uh, history of clothing is over now come to the next point that is types of fabric we know that many types of fabric are available in our surrounding in our markets in our home suppose in winter season we use blanket but in summer season we didn't or we do not use the blanket and from here we can get a idea that every season has a unique cloth every season has it several cloth so clothes are different by season clothes are different by size like this is a t-shirt and we usually uh, use shirt frogs silver etc these are the variety of the types of fabric according to their sizes according to their seasonal changes or if we by uh, uh, the uh, surroundings or the by uh, the, the area the clothes are different if we go in kashmir then we can see a different variety of uh, clothes if we go in rajasthan then they have a traditional clothes if we uh, go any other places of where uh, of india then we can see that a variety of clothes are there a traditional clothes of that area is different from our area our area or assam has also a different clothes manipur has a different clothes different tradition they have a different tradition so they use different types of clothes so all the states have a different types of clothes and the clothes are different from one another but nowadays now in this modern age we see that 
the youth the people are uh, very much interested to the western uh, uh, uniform we are uh, modern now so you is western that is the uniform of other countries like uk like uh, canada like uh, america we used their tradition so clothes are different by size different by looks and different by color we often see that the clothes are varieties of color suppose this is a black t-shirt we usually use many of uh, uh, clothes in different colors suppose our school uniform has a different color our uh, uh, clothes or our uniform that we use in home are different from our school color uniforms colors so uniforms or clothes are different by size by season by tradition by the community by the um, state or by color now sources of fabrics fabrics means cloth sources of cloth so you can see call it a sources of cloth basically the cloth are or fabrics or fibers are basically found from two things one is from plant and another is from animal the fibers that are get or that we get from uh, nature or plant it's called plant fibers or natural fibers sorry basically fibers are two types one is natural fibers and another is synthetic fibers natural fibers are of two types one is from plants and another is from animals the fibers that are get from plant product is known as plant fibers and the fibers that are from animal product is known as animal fiber except these two natural uh, fibers synthetic fibers is there synthetic fiber are the fibers that are synthesized that are produced that are made in factory by human being by us by using the machine we uh, uh, create we make uh, many of fibers so the fibers that are man made the fibers that are make in factory or industry is known as synthetic fiber and the fiber that we get from the nature is known as natural fiber so natural fiber are of two types one is plant fiber and another is animal fiber so plant fibers also have some variety or the fibers that we obtain from plant are different suppose we can get the fiber from fruit and it is called fruit fiber the fibers that are get from fruit is known as fruit fibers example of such fiber is cotton cotton is a fruit of cotton plant and we use the cotton as a fiber and which is find from fruit so it is in fruit fibers if we go to best fiber that is the fibers that are obtained from stem of a plant if a fiber is obtained from stem of a plant then it is called bust fiber the example is jute jute is a natural fiber which is used to make curtains 
okay later we will discuss about the jute fiber and one more plant fiber is leaf fibers that is the fibers that are obtained from the leaf is known as leaf fiber so the examples of leaf fibers is sisal fibers which is uh, make or which is used to make carpet of our house then one more is there watch which is stock fiber that is the fibers that are obtained from a stock of a plant is known as stock fiber that is the fiber uh, examples of stock fibers are wheat rice barley these are the examples of stock fiber that is we can get the fiber from the stock from the rice plant from the wheat plant another is seed fibers that is the fibers that are obtained from the seed of a plant is known as seed fiber so examples of seed fibers are cotton and kapak seed fibers is cotton and kapak so later i shall discuss about the cotton how we can get the cotton from cotton plant and how it is use before concluding the topics of today let me clear one thing that suppose this is a plant this is a plant and here is a leaf so this is known as stem and the from the stem or from the branches of a plant where the leaf is adjoining to the branch or to the stem is known as stalk these are the things you have to clear stalk the meaning of stalk or the stalk is the parts of that of a plant where a fruit where a leaf is adjoining to the branches or to the stem and the long the long parts of a plant is known as stem or the middle part of a stem no, plant is known as stem this is a leaf and this is a stalk that is the parts where a leaf or a fruit it adjoining to the branches of a plant adjoining to the stem of a plant is known as stalk so for today it's over in my next class i shall discuss briefly about the plant fiber that is a uh, 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 a cotton and jute and after that two fibers i shall discuss about animal fibers that is wool and silk after that i shall discuss about synthetic fibers so stay connected with me stay happy and stay healthy and if, if you have any doubt any queries regarding today's topic you are feel free to ask and if you are new in my channel then subscribe my channel like my video and press the bell icon so that you can automatically notify when my next video will upload it hope your best and thanks for watching thank you